Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of UA Eats. I'm UA, and I'm in the very touristy neighborhood of Herald Square in Midtown Manhattan. Now, this may be a touristy spot, but it does have the best bagel in the whole city, aptly named Best Bagel and Coffee. Don't be fooled by the name, and don't be fooled by the touristy location. Best Bagel and Coffee makes, in my mind, hands down, the best bagel in the whole city. Let's go check it out. All right guys, we made it to Best Bagel and Coffee at 35th Street and 6th Avenue. Right now it is 10 a.m. on a Saturday and there's this huge line already. It is honestly freezing, so let's get in line. All right guys, I just got my Best Bagel and Coffee. The line was pretty long, but it moves pretty fast. I would say I waited about 15, 20 minutes and then maybe another uh, five or eight minutes for the, uh, for the food and the coffee. So it's Best Bagel and Coffee. So let's try the coffee first. Mask off and let's give it a shot. Hmm. You know, the coffee's not bad. I wouldn't say it's great, but it's not bad. It's pretty good. Uh, I probably still prefer Dunkin' Donuts to be honest, but I guess it's best bagel, comma, and coffee. It's not best bagel and best coffee. Uh, the coffee's good, but I wouldn't go out of your way to get the coffee, but it is cold AF outside, so this is great right now. Ugh. All right, guys, now let's see what we came here for. Our best bagels. So I got two. I got an onion bagel and I got a blueberry bagel. One with scallion cream cheese and one with blueberry cream cheese. So not really sure which is which. Let's just open them up and see which is which. Actually, I think I figured it out. I think the blueberry one is the one that says BB on it. So go figure. All right, guys, this is the blueberry bagel, untoasted. I also got blueberry cream cheese. I like to do that for some reason. I kind of like to double down on the flavor. I like to have that blueberry flavor with fresh blueberries inside the bagel itself. Now I got this untoasted. I'm not actually against toasting bagels. I know a lot of New Yorkers are really dogmatic about that. They're like, don't toast bagels, that's wrong. But I don't know. I kind of like toasting them sometimes, but for this one, I didn't toast it because I feel like for a blueberry, if you don't toast it, I, I kind of like the softer texture. It's kind of more like a, a, I don't know, almost like a dessert bagel in a way. And if you guys choose to come here, I would lay off the bagel sandwiches. I would just get a bagel with spread because their spreads are awesome. And if you get too many proteins like eggs and bacon it's gonna really mask the taste of the spread and the bagel anyways guys enough talk more eat all right guys first bite mm. Mm. second bite mm. oh guys i've been here like at least 10 times it's great every time let me just show you close up. Uh, hopefully the lighting's not too bad. Take a look at the bagel itself. It's got real blueberries inside it, fresh blueberries. The spread too has a really fresh taste to it. It's really refreshing, not too thick, not too creamy, not too watery. Honestly guys, whenever I tell people about this place, Best Bagel, they always think of that scene from Elf, Best Coffee. But honestly, this place, it has a name like Best Bagel, but it backs it up. And just look again, fresh blueberries throughout the whole bagel. You see it between the layers of bagel there. Let's eat it. Mm. And what's great too about not toasting the bagel is that you can really taste the chew of the bagel. Now what's great about this place is the outside is real crispy. The inside is so soft. I'm not sure how they do it. I know the bagel making process is that you boil it and then you bake it, but they have it down to like a science, to an art. It's just the perfect bagel texture. I've never had anything like this. There's tons of great bagels in the city. There's SA bagel, there's absolute bagel. But honestly, whenever I tell people about this place, they think about the location near the Empire State Building and you know they kind of dismiss it but trust me this is my favorite bagel in the whole city I would recommend it to anyone tourists locals anyone who likes bagels anyone who doesn't like bagels just try it mm. 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 Wow excellent 
Another thing I want to show you guys is they're really generous with their spread. I mean, just look at how much spread there is in this bagel. There's almost like more spread than bagel. It's not like, would you like some spread with this bagel? It's like, would you like some bagel with your spread? But I'm having a hard time figuring out if the spread is the best part or if the bagel is the best part. So we have a whole half left of this, but let's save this because now we're going to eat our toasted bagel, our more savory bagel. The blueberry bagel was like our kind of more sweet bagel. Now we're going to eat our more savory savory one with onion seasoning and flavor as well as a scallion cream cheese check out the toasted onion bagel and this is where the comments are gonna go wild people are gonna say don't toast a bagel that's against the law to toast a bagel but I'm telling you keep an open mind for onion bagels you gotta toast them because if you toast an onion bagel, the onion pieces are gonna get so charred and crispy and more fragrant. It's gonna bring out more onion flavor and crunch. And remember what I said earlier about the outside being crispy and the inside being soft? Toasting the bagels here in general, it's gonna make the outside more crispy. The inside is gonna feel more soft and it's gonna be great. Anyways, guys, let's take a bite. Oh. oh yeah, mm. wow. It's exactly like I said guys, it's crisp on the outside, but just look, it's still soft on the inside. They're just so generous with their spread. There's so much cream cheese, I love it. And while the coffee is good but not great, it pairs perfectly with the bagel. Ah, oh, perfect pick me up on the morning. Anyways guys, let's talk, more eat. Mmm. Mmm. Excellent. I still have a whole second half of bagel left, but I did want to show you guys. Similar to the blueberry bagel, just look at the spread. I got a scallion cream cheese spread. And look, you can see real big chunks of scallion in there. Everything tastes fresh because he tastes fresh ingredients in it. Less talk, more eat. Mmm. 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 Once again, this entered the clean plate club. Well, actually it didn't because we still have a whole half left. I totally forgot about that, but it's okay. We're gonna take a bit of a break. I just ate a lot of carbs and a lot of cream cheese. So we're gonna take it easy and eat the rest of this slowly. But anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching my video. I just wanted to show you guys my favorite bagel spot. There's tons of great bagel places in New York, but this place, Best Bagel and Coffee has always been my favorite. And I've been here many times and I just wanted to show you guys my favorite bagel spot. It may be in a very touristy location, but don't let that stop you. It is a great bagel and it is my favorite favorite bagel and I think everyone should eat it. Tourists and locals, everyone should try it. It is a little bit pricier than other bagel places. I think $5.25 for a flavored bagel and cream cheese, it's a little bit more expensive, but kind of like I said, it's in a touristy location, so there's going to be a markup and it's becoming objectively known as a great bagel spot, so you kind of have to expect a price increase. I think it's worth it as long as you don't come here too often. It's a little bit pricier, but the quality merits the increase. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like my videos, make sure you like and subscribe. That way you stay up to date whenever I post another video. I'm going to finish my blueberry bagel now. Until next time, I'll see you later.